with Killer Clan from MySpace the game release date closing in fast. I have one question for you. Should Killer Clowns from MySpace have a penalty for lobby dodging? Because TCM, they found out the hard way. Quick update on TCM. They have implemented a penalty for lobby dodging in the game after nine months of people playing it. Due to the game, lobbies not filling up and prologuing the start of a match. So the DC penalties fix the issue of the lobbies? No, but they did understand something needs to be done. Now I noticed half of you probably still play TCM and the other half have moved on. With TCM having a penalty in the game, this could push more attention to Killer Clan from our space. He personally, I think there should be a penalty for people consistently dodging lobbies and ruining the experience. And for Killer Clowns from our space, it's built a little different because they incorporate bots for lobbies that are not full. But how much fun can you have with bots once you learn how they operate, such as learning their weaknesses and their strengths during a match? It's hard to predict other human controlled characters, therefore you want to have someone controlling your teammates, whether you're on the clown side or the human side. Why would you disconnect from a match and killer clown from outer space the game? That's what you may be asking yourself right now. Well, you do not get to pick the team that you play on in Killer Clown from Outer Space. This is chosen randomly for you. So you will come across people surfing the lobbies in order to get the character or the team they want to play. Without knowing what side you will end up on, it could cause premature disconnections before the outcome of the game start to go one way or the other, which ruin the other player's gameplay experience, <laughs> especially when trying to level up one of your characters because there will be a progression system in the game. Imagine playing the game and you're one match away from leveling up, either from escaping or catching a certain amount of humans to fill up the generator and then somebody disconnect from the match and now it's impossible to get the points needed to progress your character. You will have to jump into another match and hope that match carry out all the way through. TCM did lay out some groundwork for disconnection penalties that I think TerraVision should bring to Killer Clowns. One of the penalties I want to highlight is the pop-up warning for gamers that are about to incorporate a penalty for leaving the lobby. Now I think three minute timeout session is too much because let's face it, most of us will get tired of waiting and turn the game off, especially if the game has lost its shiny new game feel. You'll move on to another game entirely, maybe back to TCM. I think Killer Clowns should incorporate a one minute timeout session and stack the time one minute per disconnection up to five minutes max. This will slow down the amount of disconnections, but will not stop them entirely. Now, of course, there should be some exceptions to incurring the DC penalty, such as losing a connection mid match and it's not your fault. I think if you lose connection at least once due to no fault of your own, when you log back in, you should get a warning and if it happens again, then you get a 30 second disconnection penalty. Because one time is fine, but again, within 30 seconds, you need to fix your internet connection. I'm sorry. If the host leave the lobby, this should not incur a penalty. Being kicked due to lobby not filling up should not be a problem because the boss will claim the remaining spots. Now, of course, there should be some exceptions to incurring the DC penalty, such as losing a connection. I think if you lose connection once, when you log in, you should get a warning. If it happens again within 30 seconds, you should incur a penalty because one time is fine, but again, within 30 seconds, you either need to fix your internet connection or you're doing it on purpose. If the host leaves the lobby, then you should not incur a penalty. Being kicked due to the lobby not filling up should not be a problem because bots will claim the remaining spots to start the match. Now, why would Killer Clown not have a DC penalty right away? Well, that is just one more thing that could upset the gamers who feel penalties are stupid and should not be in the game. Also, the bots will pick up the slack for non-human players not being in the lobby, so why care if somebody disconnect? Well, while both of these reasons are true, it does not replace the headache of bots not doing what is needed to win the match because they are run off an algorithm and not off human decisions in certain situations. Not everyone wants to play against bots because asymmetrical horror games should have some level of competition in it among other human players. Take that away, then you pretty much have the essence of a private match with you and two other people. Do not sound like much fun to me. So, come on now, don't be shy. What is your opinion on disconnect penalties for Kira Clown from Outspace the game? Would you like to see a penalty for obsessive disconnecting or let lobby dodging be a choice? Hit me up in the comment section below. Welcome to Mr. Unleashed World.